Take your average $1,000 bill. It's about a quarter millimeter thick, a hundredth of an inch. $20 billion in these would make a stack 17,000 feet high, 3,000 feet higher than Mount Robson, the highest peak in Canada's Rockies. That's the height of idiocy reached by Canada's federal deficit. I'm Fred Latrimo, and this is what's happening in BC. Over 150,000 British Columbians are without jobs today. Thanks to federal overspending, every man, woman, and child in the country is in hawk for about $1,000 each. Times are tough. Well, over the past 30 years, we've had a pretty good record of balancing the books. But this government has been the first government to practice and to preach restraint. The government doesn't have any money itself. The government is the custodian of the people's money. But we have a great responsibility to make sure that the taxpayer's money is spent wisely. Worldwide recession, uh, economic downturn, private sector industries are facing uh, layoffs, uh, bankruptcies, and uh, the economics just don't allow us to generate revenue as a government, and therefore we have to live within our means, and hence the cutbacks. Salaries of senior civil servants have been limited and increased to 3%, with many of them being frozen at zero. Productivity is a key to recovery in this province. We have a choice. We can pull together or pull apart. We can share the resources we have or face layoffs. I think we'll, restraint will work if all people cooperate, both in the public sector and the private sector. Times are tough, but while most of Canada struggles deeper into debt to survive, we in BC work harder to keep our books balanced. We're staying ahead. <laughs> 